Welcome to Pigs Can Fly, the psychology of business. My name is Stephen Reynolds and today we are looking at how to be successful at anything. This episode is part of the startup series and is the first video within that series. It is best suited for anyone looking to self-improve, go into business or simply find some focus. Now let's take a look at the process. If you pick up any self-help book, business book, anything along the lines of self-development, improvement, success, they will all tell you the same thing. Write down your goals. The idea is that if you write down your goals, you are more likely to achieve them. Now while that is good advice, the biggest problem is they don't tell you what to do next. So what, you have your goals, but what to do with them. I will reveal exactly how to achieve what you want out of life and quickly take you through the process. Step one, your destination. It is impossible to get to where you want to be if you don't know where that is. For example, if I wake up in London and decide I want to travel somewhere, I simply cannot plan how to get there without first deciding on where I want to go. Your career is no different. Too many of us live the day to day and accept the reality with which we are presented. However, the second I decide I want to travel to Paris, suddenly it becomes a lot easier. I can weigh up and assess all my options. I can begin to compare such as flights, car, coach, train, boat, if I'm feeling energetic, perhaps cycle, and if I'm feeling ambitious, I could walk. The point is, you know your options and you can select the path most appropriate for your needs. Step two, be specific. Had I have decided France instead of Paris, then it would have been a lot more difficult to assess my options, particularly in relation to cost. Your destination must be specific. So how does that apply to you? Here are a few examples of having a destination and making it specific. Destination, chef. Perhaps you want to be a chef. Great, but what type of chef? Do you want to specialize in Japanese cuisine? Perhaps you wish to become an expert in pastry or fish, or maybe even own your own restaurant. By identifying exactly what, suddenly the path becomes a lot clearer. Aim, I wish to be a sous chef in an authentic family owned Italian restaurant. Destination, author. Maybe writing is your thing and you can think of nothing better than writing a book. Fantastic, but what type of book? What genre? What target market? Is it a serious or individual book? Will you self-publish or target a recognised publisher? Aim, I will write a related series of short storytelling novels for children and self-publish online. Step three, visualise. So you have your destination, you've made it specific, now it's time to visualise it. It's not a coincidence that those that have reached the top of their game have done so through using this technique. Many will profess to the power of visualising what they want. If you can't imagine it, then why would it come true? Boxing legend Muhammad Ali was always stressing the importance of seeing himself victorious long before the actual fight. Michael Jordan always took the last shot in his mind before he ever took one in real life. As a struggling young actor, Jim Carrey used to picture himself being the greatest actor in the world. In fact, in 1985, before acquiring any fame or fortune, he wrote a check out to himself for $10 million. By 1995, he landed the role for Dumb and Dumber for, you guessed it, how much? $10 million. Harness this power and you will increase your chances of success no matter your goal. Step four, make a plan. You decided on your destination, you've made it specific, you've visualized it, now you need to know what to do. Break it down step by step, work backwards and go through each stage. Be realistic with your time period. If you require a qualification, take on board the length of the course. If you require hands-on experience, what duration will that take? and so on. Step five, take action. There is no point in doing all this to then go and grab a coffee and take a nap, no matter how tempting that might be. Take action, do something about it. You have your plan, so start working towards your goal. Make a checklist of small tasks to achieve the bigger ones. It's important that each day you do something that helps you get to where you want to be. It doesn't matter how small this is. Progress is never made from standing still, and if all you do that day is send one single email to a potential employer, or watch a quick tutorial on something to enhance your skills or knowledge, then that is one more opportunity of possibility you have created for yourself. 
something is always better than nothing and it starts with now. Good luck. Our next video of the startup series focuses on idea generation. How to come up with that multi-million pound idea. You can also check out our book reviews for additional inspiration or our case studies. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.